Hey everyone, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to talk about authorizing Razor Pages. It's a part I left out and forgot about since I don't use Razor Pages that much. The thing with Razor Pages is we cannot use authorization attributes the way used, we used it for our controllers like this, where we sort of append either an action or a controller. And for Razor Pages, we have to configure it in our startup. Now, first of all, let's go ahead and add Razor Pages to our basic application. The way we achieve it is we go to our services and we add Razor Pages services. And then we want to basically make our routing aware of how to map the route to the Razor page that we're going to be using. So we want to grab the endpoints and map Razor Pages. Okay, and this is essentially it for allowing you to use Razor Pages. Now what we can do is we can create a folder called Pages and this is where all the Razor Pages will be stored. And I will create a Razor folder just as an example of where I'm going to store my initial pages. And obviously I'm going to try to spell Razor correctly this time. Razor slash. Okay, so I have this Razor folder. So essentially the route is going to be address slash Razor slash whatever page I want to be on. Now, first thing I want to do is I want to add two pages. One is going to be sort of a home page, which I can just visit anonymously. Second one is going to be a secured page, right? So I'm just going to have a simple example of a page I can visit and a page that I want to authorize, right? So I'm going to press Control Shift A. If you don't want to press Control Shift A, you can right click, add a new item. Uh, don't click Razor page here. This is a scaffolding mechanism. You want to click on new item, grab the Razor page, not Razor view. And let's create index for now. And in here, I'm just going to say that this is an index page. And I'm going to say that there is no auth here. Okay, next thing, let's go ahead and add another page. And we'll call it secured. And for this secured page, I'm just going to go ahead and say that this is a secured page. And there is auth, but it's kind of in the name, right? So the way that we configure authorization is to, when we add Razor pages, we also want to add Razor page options. And in here, we specify a configuration. And this configuration essentially holds a property called conventions. And this is where all authorization configuration is going to be defined. To secure a secured page, let's go ahead and call the authorize page function. And the parameter that we want to pass to it is slash razor slash secured. If you're catching on what this is, this is essentially a route starting from the page uh, pages folder as your root. So slash razor slash secured. And now this is an authorized page, right? So let's go ahead and launch the application and make sure that the page is indeed authorized. Okay, so here we are. Let's go on to razor index. So this is the index page. There is no off. And if we go to secured, we're redirected back to the home page because we've been redirected to the sign in endpoint first, right? So now that we are signed in, let's go and back to the secured endpoint. And now we can reach the secured endpoint once we are authenticated, right? Since we're not providing any policies, this is the only condition that we need to be to meet is to be authenticated in, in order to be authorized to visit this page. All right. So speaking about policies, how can we secure a page based on a policy? Let's go ahead, add another page and we'll call it policy, right? We'll learn so much about policies and now we basically want to apply it to razor pages as well, right? So let's call this policy page. Uh, here we essentially want to do the same thing. Let's go ahead and secure policy. but. Now, as a second parameter, we want to provide a string of a policy that we want to secure it with. We have an admin policy set up right here. So let's go ahead and add this here. And just to make sure that I want to fail first, because we want to see it not work, and then we want to see it work just to make a same conclusion that it does work indeed, right? So it doesn't seem like we actually meet the required role of having an admin role. In our home controller, we have a, 
a role claim that adds admin to, but this is essentially going to fail for now. So let's go ahead and launch the application and see what happens. All right, so if we go to Razor policy, we are redirected to authentication. And if we go to Razor policy again, we are redirected to access the night page, right? So at the moment, we don't have the claim, so we are redirected to an access the night page. So what we want to do is to go into home controller and add an admin role. And let's start this up. And now we should have access to it after signing in. Okay, so home or not home, uh, razor policy, we are signed in. Uh, razor policy again, and now we reach the page. Okay, so now since we have the claim, we match the policy and we can access the page. Okay, so but now imagine you have a hundred of these pages and you don't want to write a configuration for each individual ones of these pages. What you can do is let's go ahead and create a folder razor secured is delegate authorization based on a folder, right? So let's say you have a folder like admin or manager, and then you can delegate even policies like admin or manager to those folders, right? So you can secure by a whole folder. And in here, let's go ahead, actually add a few pages. So again, an index page. So let's say secured index. And I also want to add an anonymous page, right? Uh, which will essentially be something that we will allow to enter even though it's inside an authorized folder, right? So, and on page. But for now, we'll keep it as needed authorized, right? So, I'll close these two pages and all we want to do is in our config, go to conventions again, authorize folder, and now we just specify our folder here, okay? So now both of these pages inside the folder are secured. Let's go ahead and check it. Okay, so slash razor secured index first. We are redirected to the sign in. So now if we go to razor secured index, we can reach the secured index page. And if we go to anon, we can visit the anon page. And if I open my developer tools and clear the cookies, if I refresh, I should be redirected back to the home page and have my cookie again because it re-signed me in again, right? And if I refresh, I got my cookie, I'm on the home page. So both of the pages are authorized based on the folder location that they're in. Now let's go ahead and override the authorization that the folder has on the anonymous page, right? So we basically, we wanna allow anonymous people onto this anon page, right? So config, again, convention and allow anonymous to page. And now again, same thing as before, razor secured slash anon. We just specified the path to that page. And this is essentially how you do all the configuration, right? So let's launch this one last time and try to visit this page without signing in. And technically we should be able to without being redirected to the home page, right? So index anon. And there we go, right? So we didn't have to sign in. We just visited the page, even though it's in a secured folder because we have specified that anonymous are allowed to visit. This is essentially it for this uh, configuration or how to do authorization with Razor pages. Uh, remember that if you want a policy, you just add it as another string parameter. And that's pretty much it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. Don't forget to join the Discord server, the link is in the description, and hopefully I'll see you around.